So overall, we were pretty happy with how we did our project and how we worked together to achieve our common goal. But if there were a couple of things that we would have to do better, would be um, better time management because we found ourselves always um, kind of too close to the deadlines and running out of time because we procrastinate some of the work. But if we had given ourselves additional dead deadlines and had slightly better group communication, I feel like that would have facilitated the process of um, making our part of the document. Hi, I'm Sophia Mendez. Some of the individual responsibilities that we had as a part of the group were obviously things like turning in your work on time and making sure that you got your part of the project done. But we also had to remember to keep an open mind, always be a team player and listen to other people and try our best to cooperate and keep a positive attitude with the group as an individual. So we thought the most relevant activity we did in this project was the research part because we learned how to identify the difference between primary and secondary sources and then we far, further learned how to analyze these sources so we could pick apart historical inaccuracies and such, um, which led to a lot of discoveries about April Waters. And finally, we learned how to cite these sources and give credit um, to their authors. Here are some examples of primary resources that we researched. I feel that we were able to divide and assign tasks quite effectively. As a whole, the right jobs were given to the right people and it was able to play to everyone's strengths. If we were to do this again, we would divvy up tasks the same. Another thing that would remain the same is our interview with Mr. Shahid. We were able to get all the information we needed in a quick and smooth manner without being rushed or overbearing. The interview, along with the sources that Dr. Perota provided us, gave us a strong base to build our script upon, and there are no changes that we would make in that regard. I would rate the overall experience of this project to be a 10 out of 10, and I believe the people I worked with would agree as well. This project was a great experience for me and my group. We learned a lot and it was very eye-opening and a great thing to be a part of, since we were able to educate and spread awareness on such an important topic that needs to be more talked about. I loved being able to collaborate with my teammates to be a part of something bigger overall. Thank you. Some uh, leadership skills that were experienced in this project, and this was definitely my most difficult one, uh, was that of public speaking. Uh, for example, uh, our Johns Creek group uh, spoke at our high school. Uh, we're presenting our documentaries. Uh, we introduced and uh, spoke to diplomats, and we had to speak in front of a very large audience. Uh, so that was definitely not easy. Uh, we established uh, roles and responsibilities. We gave each other assignments and we held each other accountable. Uh, for example, we had people doing uh, different kinds of research. We had people researching uh, primary sources and we had others uh, researching secondary sources. Uh, we also had people writing uh, different parts of the script. Uh, and uh, our last one, I think the most important one that we experienced was uh, that of listening to others and understanding um, each other's point of view. Uh, you know, people of course had uh, differing ideas on how we could effectively do each assignment. Uh, if someone made a mistake, we would be understanding and move on. Um, but. We heard each other's ideas and came up with a really done, well, uh, well done documentary.